Hi everybody, this is Blake Nikolai with Nikolai Real Estate. I'm here in Belmont Heights in front of my new listing at 252 Roswell Avenue. Today I'm going to be doing a virtual tour walking you through the property and talking to you a little bit about its features and history. The house is a 1921 Craftsman Bungalow with design and inspiration from Henry and Charles Green's Culbertson House in Pasadena. As you can see the house has a green Ludoichi tile roof which we believe is the same type of roofing used at the Culbertson house. And then all of the uh, gates and railings are solid wrought iron and they were designed with inspiration taken from the Culbertson house and other green and green homes. This is a little side porch to the home. And then we'll make our way over to the front entrance. The house is set on a prominent corner of Vista and Roswell and as you can see this is the Vista exposure and then this is the house's front entrance on Roswell. The house is 2,565 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms and the lot is oversized at 6,900 square feet. You can see that the windows of the home look original but they've been replaced with the same format as the original windows but dual pane and energy efficient. There's a nice deep eave covering the front porch. With this really interesting built-in flower box. And then here's the front door which is original. It's a flush door which is unique and it's of an exotic wood called tiger oak. And you can see the original straps and knocker and uh, mortise entry set. As you enter the house, there's a nice little reading nook with a built-in sofa and a bank of those beautiful windows. And then here is the living room and dining room. There's a guest bedroom off the front of the house, which makes a nice bedroom or office. The house is really a showcase of wood, as it has the original quarter sawn oak floors, which are in beautiful condition, and then all the baseboards and moldings and crown molding is all original and was stripped down to bare wood during the restoration and refinished. It also has a gorgeous Ernst Bach Elder fireplace with a white oak mantle. Bach Elder was a tile maker who made handmade ceramics in Pasadena. And you can see this. It's got that beautiful handmade look and these really unique floral rosettes. You see the dining room, dining room is uh, spacious, has a table with seating for eight, and it fits comfortably. And then this is a guest suite, which has a spacious bedroom. And there's an ensuite bathroom with a walk-in closet. You can see as you walk through the house, you're just constantly surrounded by original hardware and original doors and woodwork. It's all been refinished and beautifully maintained. Here's another view of the living room. And then this is the hallway to the bedrooms. And then off living room is the kitchen, which opens to a large family room with 10 foot vaulted ceilings. And you can see the kitchen is done in that same white oak 
with that rich stain to it. And there's a beautiful appliance package, DCS appliances with built-in refrigerator. You see the beautiful stone counters and full backsplash. And there's so much attention to detail throughout the house. You can even see the switch plates are faux painted to match the backsplash. There's nice built-ins here for your crystal or drinkware. Additional built-in storage. And then here's this family room, which is a little bit more casual. And has a nice fireplace with a Bach Elder inspired tile, tile and a white oak mantle that matches the front of the house. Then off the back of the home, there's a nice little office area and laundry. and then a half bathroom. And here's another view of the family room, open to the kitchen. And this is exiting the back porch into the yard. There's a patio set, area for outdoor dining. And then outdoors, there's a fig tree two mature citrus trees, and then entrance into the garage. The garage is really excellent as it's uh, oversized. It's extra deep and there's storage along the back wall with plenty of room to park two cars. And then here is the yard. You see there's a nice area. You could set up a patio set and have a garden. There's two avocado trees. And then along the side yard is where the air conditioning compressor is, 200 amp electrical panel. And then here's more of the back of the house. And you can see all those poured caps The shape of the chimney, it all matches the original part of the house as the back of the house was added onto, but you really can't tell. It's also cohesive. And here into the kitchen, there's a nice uh, eat at bar with seating for four. And then here's the master bedroom. The area that I'm standing on has a heated floor. This is a dressing area. A large closet behind these floor to ceiling wardrobe doors. Back into the bedroom, you can see there's a closet on that side of the room as well. The floor to ceiling wardrobe doors. Then the master bathroom with a dual sink vanity, spa tub, and a large shower. And then behind this door is a separate water closet. And then this is the control unit for the heated floors. And then the master bedroom also has access off the main hallway, off the front of the house. And this is the hall bathroom. It's got this really unique woven sisal floor. And then the vanity is a Chinese scholar's table, antique. And then the sink is a ceremonial East Indian vessel neither of which were designed to be a vanity, but were retrofitted and are really a beautiful touch. And then a nice stone shower with glass doors. And 
And then off the hallway, there's also this bedroom that I showed you when we were in the in front of the house. And then we're back into the main living room. You get another view of that beautiful front door. And the porch. Thank you so much for joining me for the tour. It's really a wonderful home and uh, happy I was able to showcase it and uh, show you it in a little bit more detail. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.